I think one of the main achievements is really um, giving European psychiatrists the feeling that we are one big family because there is often the feeling that there is the American or let's say the Anglo-American psychiatry being very powerful and that European psychiatrists are very split it into uh, little portions and they don't have the voice they would need. And I think that's uh, very important to have a platform. And the second thing is what I always felt very fascinating about EPA, uh, to have the chance to hear about how is psychiatry practiced in countries outside my own country. I think that in Europe we have a very special tradition of psychiatry. Um, I mean, beside that, if you look at France or if you look at Germany or if you're in, at England, we have specific, specific roots. I mean, there are specific people, Pinel or Kreplin and others, which actually uh, represent a certain way of thinking or looking at psychopathology, the description of you know, how the symptoms uh, are developing and so forth, I think that is a certain way. And I think that a lot of that has been implemented in, let's say, American psychiatry. And therefore, I think it is, it, it, I think it's always good to know something about your ancestors. And, you know, being, you know, in this tradition, I think that is part of the beauty of EPA to continue and to, well, uh, to point at this tradition, especially for young people. Yeah, I think that, uh, you know, to make psychiatry um, an interesting medical subject um, discipline, that's the correct way of saying that, I think it has to be made clear to young people going into medicine, what is the advantage of becoming a psychiatrist in Europe? Um, so what, what, what are the advantages and, you know, to, to bring across that this is a discipline which has a good future. And I think the good future comes that it connects actually general medicine in the sense of physical illness, neurosciences, and philosophy. So there are different fields and I think for a young person who is interested as a physician in the whole human being, I think there are very few disciplines who actually can uh, mirror that and psychiatry is at the center of that. Well we have, we have, chosen, we have chosen the topic the relation or the European perspective on the body and mind because I think that this is a, a very interesting um, interface uh, in psychiatry and I'm just giving one example. The likeliness to develop diabetes is much much more increased if you have depression mm -hmm. and I think that that is one topic and the other thing is that I think that Munich in itself um, you know, I think it is a visit worthwhile. It has a long tradition of psychiatry, think of Kreplin and others. And the other thing is I think Munich and the surroundings are just nice for a visit. Well, I would say uh, it is one of the most interesting cities at least Germany can offer. And I think that it is near to Italy it is uh, near to other interesting countries and so I think that the south of Germany, especially Munich, offers a lot of op opportunities to get to know a certain tradition of psychiatry but beside that to get to know a quite interesting part of Germany and Europe and that's the reason why you should come to Munich.